Hello everyone, my name is Scouter Trevor. Today I will be showing how I met The Great Eight Challenge, Week 5, Disaster Master. You've made it to the foothills of the mountains, but you're not out of the woods just yet. Hopefully someone is on the way to find you, but it may take a while. You're stuck until help arrives. You and your team members are a little worse for wear. You might have to do some first aid to patch yourselves up. You've got the clothes on your back and a small first aid kit. Someone on your team has a hurt arm. Two members have blisters all over their feet. And everyone is feeling sick after having too much time in the sun. What do you do? Here's what I did. I knew we were in a desperate situation, so I began an emergency scene management system in my head, or an ESM. ESM has four steps. Scene survey, take control of the scene, find out what happened, and make sure the area is safe before assessing the casualty. Primal survey, quickly assess the casualty for any injury or illness and give life-saving first aid. Secondary survey, gather information to form a complete picture of the casualty's overall condition. Ongoing casualty care, Continue to monitor the casualties' conditions until medical help can arrive. More information on this can be found through the St. John's Ambulance website, www.sja.ca. You can also consult the Canadian Red Cross at redcross.ca slash first aid, or phone them at 1-877-356-3226, and you can even download the Red Cross First Aid app onto your phone. Since there were three conditions going on at the same time, I had to make a decision as to who needed the most help first. The sore arm, the blisters, or the people that had too much sun. What would you do? I decided to help the people that had had too much sun. The arm was bad, but not life-threatening. The blisters were also not life-threatening. However, heat stroke can cause permanent brain damage or even death. So I knew I had to help these people first. I had to lead them out of the sun and into some shade. Lowering the body's temperature is the most urgent first aid for heat stroke. You can apply the cold compress to cool them down, or use a rag or sponge in cool water. You can also cover the casualty in wet sheets and fan the sheets to increase the cooling. When the casualty feels cool to the touch, cover them in a nice warm blanket, and if they are conscious, put them in the shock position, and if they are unconscious, put them in the recovery position. More information on this can be found through the St. John's Ambulance website, www.sja.ca. Next, we can look at that arm. The arm injury is not life-threatening, but does need to be put in a sling for now. We can use our first Hive Ever Scout neckerchief as a sling. It's like having a giant triangular bandage. Lay one end of the bandage over the shoulder on the uninjured side. Bring the end behind the neck to hang down over the other shoulder. Place the point of the bandage under the elbow on the injured side and gently place the arm across the chest in front of the bandage in such a position that the hand is higher up than the elbow. Pull the point of the bandage out and turn over the front of the elbow, fixing it there with a pin. The knot tying the two ends should be on the shoulder. Take the lower end of the bandage and tie it by a reef knot to the upper end hanging over the shoulder adjusting the length so that the arm is suspended comfortably in the position in which you placed it. The hand should be kept on a higher level than the elbow, otherwise it is apt to swell. The fingertips should just show outside the bandage. Your completed sling should look like this. Next, we want to help those people with the blisters on their feet. You will want to put on your vinyl examination gloves while they remove their hiking boots. If you do not have the vinyl examination gloves in your first aid kit, you could clean your hands with hand sanitizer before you begin to gently clean the infected blistered area with an alcohol pad. Remember that you don't want to break any blisters. Blisters are the way in which the body heals itself. Instead, protect them with loose, dry dressings, such as this fabric band-aid here. Take extra care when you're removing the backing from the band-aid not to touch the white cotton area here as that will be resting on the blister. Cover the blister like this. You have now treated the blistered feet. Continue to monitor your casualties conditions until medical help can arrive. How did you solve these emergencies to become your troops disaster master? 
Did you do something that I didn't do? If so, let us know down in the comments below.